Welcome to the Walton Pie. Today I'm going to show an example test question that might show up on a test uh, early on in calculus. So if these sorts of videos are helpful, please consider subscribing so that I continue to make these videos. Okay, so here we go. So let's try and find the value of c so that the function f of x is equal to, we got cx, let's see, what, what should I do? Let's do cx uh, squared minus 4 if x is less than negative 2. And we'll do cx plus 5. Whoa. cx plus 5 if x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So let's say that this is our function and we are trying to figure out what value should we make this so that f of x is continuous at x equals 2. Or x equals negative 2, sorry. So we're trying to find that value of c. So this means that we need both side limits to be the same. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we look at the limit as x goes to negative 2 from the left of f of x, well this is just going to be the limit as x goes to 2, negative 2 from the left of the function when we are smaller than 2, negative 2. So that means we're going to just be looking at cx squared minus 4. This is going to be equal to c times 4 minus 4. Because at this point, we can just plug in and see what we get. So that's what one side is going to be. And then the other side is we have the limit as x goes to negative 2 from the right of f of x. This is equal to the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right of this function. So that's going to be of cx plus 5. So that's going to be equal to minus 2c plus 5. So that means that these two things have to be equal in order for this to be continuous. So we set those equal and we get 4c minus 4 is equal to 5 minus 2c. And then solving for c, we can add the 2c, so we get 6c is equal to 9. So c is equal to 9 over 6, which is equal to 3 halves or 1.5. And so that is our value of c. c is equal to 1.5. And if we go through and plug all of that in and we check that, we can see that if we plug in x equals negative 2 into everything, the first one goes to a 1.5 times 4. So that's 6 minus 2. 6 minus 2 is 2. And then 1.5 times negative 2, that's a negative 3 plus 5, also gives us 2. So this function is, in fact, continuous. Thanks so much for watching. If this was helpful, please consider subscribing. And if you really liked it, please like the video. Um, if you have other videos you'd like me to go over, please leave those in the comment section down below. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day and good luck with all of your math.